for cell growth, right, or from the foundation for cell growth. And the theory here is to sort of deregulate that to, to inhibit cancer cell growth. Giving our kids this drug for two years at a number of pills a day, are we inhibiting any cell growth that isn't cancerous, that is sort of proper cell growth that a two-year-old son, you know, mm -hmm. needs? And, and we're going to find out five years from now he's slightly deficient in one way or another. Right. So we don't know that. Um, this is a drug that has been used for a long time for African sleeping sickness. Um, there's not significant data that says that that would happen, but it's definitely possible. In the adult studies, they didn't see any toxicities that, you know, long term, but they were adults. They weren't growing, as you say. Um, you know, in terms of the diet, we don't, uh, um, we didn't prevent or we didn't give out the polyamine diet <laughs> in the phase one study. We wanted to really see if patients were just eating the regular diet. We did see urine polyamines go back down to normal. So it wasn't necessary to follow the polyamine diet. Many families want to see the polyamine diet now, so you know, preventing, you know, orange juice, tomatoes, corn, things that have high polyamines. But we don't, for our phase two study even, we're not requiring families to follow any particular diet. We see the urine polyamines come back down to normal levels even without following a particular diet. But right, so that it is a study in safety and um, is one of the things that we will be following. And, and I'm sorry, just one more last quick question that I'm out of here. Yeah. Is, is the eventual goal to get this to like a phase three point? I know that's probably way into the future, but at your clinic, do you, do you want to progress to that? Uh, within COG, hopefully, <laughs> yes. So we don't do phase three. I mean, our, our consortium is very small. And really, it's just to look at different medications. But I think a larger, ideally, if we can show some effect, the next step would be bringing it to COG and seeing if it's something they would be interested in, possibly incorporating as a maintenance question, randomized. Hey. Hi. Um, just a quick question. If a patient was on DFMO mm -hmm. and then relapsed, would the fact that they were on DFMO limit them for other choices? Or would we still have choices? Oh, absolutely still have choices, yeah. Um, so the low, if the patient who is NED has low polymines in their urine to start with, or do, do is that a factor for inclusion on the DFMO study? What, is there a level no. of polymers that they need to be at? No, and, and the urine polymines are, are measured as a research question, so they're not done in real time. It's a, it's a research question done at the University of Arizona, so it's not part of the inclusion criteria. So if a patient is low to start with, then the DFMO would have no effect? We don't know. Okay. Yeah. It, it depends. Likely, so we haven't looked at it yet in our phase two. In phase one, they were high because the patients had high active disease. My guess is that they will be low to start with. Um, maybe not normal, but low because the patients hopefully coming on to study hopefully have no disease <laughs> or very few tumor cells remaining. One more question. Yeah. <laughs> a recommendation for um, appetite stim uh, stimulating appetite um, for it depends on the patient but <laughs> okay. so yeah. my child is um, been in you know off treatment for three years has been had never had a relapse but his right. appetite still is not where it should be and um, I'm just wondering if you have any recommendations off treatment for three years doing uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, so on therapy, like Megase is the one that we generally use to try right. and increase the appetite stimulation. So um, for a patient that's been off therapy for a long time, we don't usually do, um, in terms of adding more medications, I don't know if you have a, a thought on that one, but I would yeah, work with your pediatrician or your oncologist at home. But there are appetite stimulants, but I don't have one in particular that I would choose for that. Okay, thank Thanks. you. Anyone else? Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Scholler. Uh, we're going to take a 15 minute break. Uh, there are some refreshments in the other room next door. So we'll see you in 15 minutes. <laughs>